The Pook has no water of its own, but on the edge of the region is a small lake called Chichan Kanab. To study climate change, a team of scientists has extracted core samples from the bottom of the lake. In a lab at the University of Florida, geologist Mark Brenner identifies a telling pattern. These are sediment cores from Lake Chichan Kanab on the Yucatan Peninsula. Lake sediments are wonderful recorders of past environmental history. And if you start at the top here, this would be the most recent sediments, and you work your way down, you're basically going back in time. You see nice organic brown sediments as you come down here, and then suddenly you see these white bands here. And these are gypsum. Gypsum is a type of salt found naturally in the waters of Lake Chichen Kanab. To understand where the gypsum bands come from, imagine a glass of salt water. If enough water evaporates, salt separates out of the water. In times of drought, lake water evaporates, leaving the gypsum behind, where it settles in a layer at the bottom of the lake. The gypsum bands record a period of time when Lake Chichen Kanab's water level plummeted. But when was it? When Mark sends the gypsum layers for radiocarbon dating, he discovers a stunning coincidence. What was really cool about this core is that when we did the radiocarbon dating, we found that it actually coincides with the Maya collapse. The droughts align perfectly with the abandonment of Kiwik. But a close inspection of the core sample reveals an even more important detail. If you look closely here, uh, throughout the cores, you'll find these little white specks. And what you're looking at there is very minute snail shells. Snail shells can act as tape recorders, providing a precise climate history Locked into the shells are two distinct oxygen isotopes. During times of drought, one type dominates and is detectable in the shell's chemical makeup. When Mark analyzes them, he discovers a series of droughts with an off-the-charts intensity. But the snails are telling us things were incredibly dry, as dry as they had been for the last 7,000 years, anyway. At Stairway to Heaven, new data indicates cisterns would have armed the Maya for three months without rain, a few months longer with emergency water rationing. But more evidence from the core samples suggests this would not have been enough. We find eight of these bands that suggests, in fact, that it wasn't just like one massive drought, but it was probably a series of droughts that have uh, durations of about three to 20 years. And, you know, every time things would get going again, they would get pounded with a, a fairly long duration drought. At some point, the droughts overwhelmed Stairway, leaving only one option. All it would take would be a short period of time in which there is no water in those cisterns, and those people would have to leave that hill. It's simply impossible to live there. The various families, elite families, they were reaching a point uh, where they were having to make a very difficult decision, which was to leave Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> 